Hello guys, welcome to another Only Aviation video. Uh, today we're checking out uh, the brand new Fly 747 Maximum, a game made by Idris Selig. Uh, probably you heard about Idris Selig game design, they produced also Flight 787. Uh, today we're gonna do a startup procedure tutorial, which will help you start the plane. So, a lot of people have difficulties when it comes to this part because you have to press a lot of buttons in a specific order and it's uh, very hard. So, now we're gonna fly to, we're gonna enter a flight. Uh, we're gonna go on, let's say, snowy weather at 1 p.m. Uh, or let's accept and uh, in a few seconds uh, we should be in the flight so um, this game is brand new it's a, a very nice game with realistic uh, situations as you see we're now in the plane everything is turned off let's uh, go on general as you see we're flying uh, 737 max uh, we are at the airport so uh, let's start the procedure so we're gonna go on a checklist visual cockpit control parking brake and engine start levers on cutoff now we're gonna start uh, the procedure so we're going here battery on now standby power auto we're gonna go battery discharge and now we're gonna um, you have uh, two alternatives grand ground power or APU gen uh, I prefer the APU gen so uh, now we are going here your damper on uh, we're going at the fuel pumps all fuel pumps and now uh, APU gen and uh, now we're gonna go to the APU and we're gonna go or uh, press it twice uh, start as you see the battery is charging you have to wait until it charges a uh, hundred percent then you can start uh, to, you can continue your procedure so battery on standby power battery status APU gen your damper let's go MR exit lights which are right here press it twice uh, let's uh, all right now APU gen fuel pumps on APU uh, APU bleed hydraulic pumps and pilot static heat right now after it reaches a hundred percent we're going here so we're gonna press the button in this order first the left then the right and then the middle one and we're gonna go a bit up right here and we're gonna press it like that now we're going to the pilot static kit right uh, like that uh, radio frequency the radio frequency isn't very hard to connect as you see uh, the this button is uh, red right now we're gonna press on it and we're gonna look on the fly plan at radio frequencies at departure you see the radio frequencies is 238 dot 669 we're gonna press uh, connect button as you see it is uh, all right and now we're gonna enter the destination frequency so it could be easier for us to change it in the air all right now we are gonna close and uh, we're gonna see the VMC fuel datas uh, fuel datas let's watch on a fly plan uh, the left fuel tank usually has the uh, same value as the right fuel tank which in this case is 5543 
All right, for free. Uh, now um, we're gonna enter the center field tank value, which is five six three six. We're gonna press the execute button and the now the index. Right now we're gonna go get fuel permission and get fuel. So we're gonna go here get a weather info first now we're gonna get a few permission all right now we're gonna go to the ground service and start fuel service. So uh, the uh, requests are not in English because the game just appeared and it's in uh, only one language which is Turkey. But uh, the checklist is in English. So now, engine start levers and equip supply. Good. Right now, this is an easy step. You go right down here. Press on both. Now we're gonna go up here on the panel. And we're gonna equip cooling supply exhaust. Uh, now we're gonna go wing anti-ice, engine anti-ice, window heat. Uh, let's see if they are necessary. But I think they are because... All right, all of them have to be on. So we're gonna go right here at the panel. Wing anti ice, engine anti ice, and the window heat is here. Perfect. Uh, now we are gonna go on IRS vectors. So we're gonna go up here. Set and we're gonna enter the IRS runway alignment vector which is 811.752.612 enter now close uh, let's cut it off the checklist now course value and altitude value let's see uh, the course the altitude is 2000 and course 200 so let's hit it uh, 200 and uh, wait a minute 2000 perfect let's check again all right now we're gonna go VMC rooty sows VMC leg vectors and uh, flight number So we're gonna go again on the computer down here. We're gonna go to the route. Departure is our LTFM. So we're gonna enter it. And the destination is OMDB. Execute index. Uh, leg vectors. Vector 1 is 355. Uh, let's uh, clear. 255 uh, you can find them on the fly plan at root leg vectors and uh, 481 I remind you that this is the professional version it's not the light version uh, so uh, the light version is also good it features the same liveries but uh, it uh, doesn't have uh, such destination it has only two destinations so let's uh, pass to the second vector which is 785 uh, uh, 583 and 720 now vector 3 is 291 dot one six three 
dot nine one zero execute index and now we're gonna go to flight number which is T A one one thousand four hundred sixty five one four six five execute index now we're gonna go on to pressure the pressure is uh, right here we're gonna go on fly plan cabin pressure uh, a takeoff it should be 4500 and at landing 350 so write that set it on auto and then everything should be all right now passenger signs uh, which are here no smoking and fast and seat bolts and now the flight security demo on flight attendant and star flight security demo all right now we're gonna go uh, get engine permission start from the tower all oh, right we've already done that get permission for engine start all right now we're gonna go strobe any collision lights of them we have them here strobe position and the collision we're gonna activate wing and wheel wheel uh now we're gonna go close the cargo door for the service to the ground service all right now uh, the we're gonna start uh, engine one and two uh, the engine start uh, can be done from two different places you can uh, start uh, right here you can press left right or both and now set them both on the ground and now the engines are on right now we've completed the before start this is how you start the airplane we're gonna complete the pushback procedures also so the parking brake should be unlocked uh, right here the parking brake is right here now we're gonna go get pushback permission All right. Uh, now we're gonna get taxi permission. Kule, uçuş 737 taksiye başlamak için hazır ve taksi izni istiyor. Lütfen iki nolu kalkış pistine gidin. Anlaşıldı Kule. Now we're gonna announce uh, taxi to passengers. Alright. Uh, now set engine speed, start and go. So, right now you see we're in taxi position. Uh, we are gonna set both engines to taxi and uh, we are gonna go on the taxi drive mode um we're gonna taxi right uh, to the runway uh we're gonna center it and then we're gonna complete the before takeoff procedures so as you see now hydraulic systems are working 
the cool part of this game is that you have uh, a joystick you don't have uh, the tilt control and uh, uh, I am a fan of joystick uh, on the airplane games uh, tell me in the comments if you uh, like a joystick what do you prefer the joystick or the tilt control well right now uh, I have to remind you that we are not allowed to touch any tree or airplane during the taxi because we could uh, crash so right now we're heading on a correct path uh, let's uh, see the airport an A380, here we have a 787 uh, so as I told you the game is very realistic it deserves the money and uh, I hope there will be uh, future updates if you want uh, me to do a full flight tutorial and emergency case tutorial Please uh, tell in the comments, but of course uh, show your support and like and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, uh, tell in the comments uh, that uh, you want more of this and uh, tell us more games that we could uh, play. If you know some of them. So right now we're heading uh, to the runway. Uh, to we're heading uh, uh, a thing that I don't understand uh, at uh, this game is that uh, the planes that are on the runway as that uh, bombardier uh, do not take off and I would like to know from the developer uh, why do they stay there I understand that they probably stayed there to block the runway but look even here uh, at this runway as you see there is a plane there is again a 747 200 right on the runway uh, I don't understand why he, uh, he's staying there but it's alright so now we reached the runway we're gonna line the aircraft and then we are going to complete the checklist so right now we're aligning on runway uh, if you know everything about the 747 max situation at the moment please uh, tell me in the comments because I don't know if they fixed the problem uh, the software or if there is still a problem okay we are aligned with the runway now uh, let's pass through this and now we're gonna go idle all right uh, right now we're gonna before takeoff so set flaps we have to set the flaps Extend it for takeoff, uh, get takeoff permission, and announce takeoff to passengers. So uh, you have two types of permission you can uh, have permission for takeoff, or you can have uh, when you're in the air, if something happens, you there is also uh, this alternative which is uh, get permission for emergency landing, but it's not the case. Now we're gonna announce the takeoff. So, this was uh, the video, guys. Uh, all you have to do from this point is set engine speed to takeoff, and when the speed hits 150 knots, you have to press this button, as you see and take off so if you want me to do a full flight tutorial uh, please tell me in the comments and uh, tell me also if um, uh, what route should I uh, put 
where I should go and uh, if you liked the game so you have also the windows you can see the pilot so the game is pretty cool but the scenario is not that great the buildings uh, are definitely good because they're 3d but they're not uh, and you see there is the church from Istanbul uh, which is a very important detail so this was the video guys this was the startup procedure and uh, tax procedure and takeoff procedure uh, if you want me to do more videos please uh, uh, like and subscribe and answer the my questions in uh, uh, the comment section and uh, I will surely respond you so see you next time bye